Okay, so in this next video, we're going to create a, a data collection link and talk about data collection options a bit. So we've gone through the process of creating a project and configuring it and getting it all squared away for data collection. So at this point, there are multiple ways that you could actually enter data into a project. You can manually go out and uh, physically just collect data on a um, spreadsheet or a form and then manually enter it right into directly into your project uh, it's a so there's a lot of fields and I've just opened up the data trees tab to show you what that looks like so right now there is no data in here but this is where it will all be eventually housed and as you can see there are many different fields and the reason is is that eco allows for six different DBHs for multi-stem trees um, remember, this is a model that is interested in estimating uh, biomass for estimating carbon and other ecosystem services. So there are a lot of data variables. Uh, you'll see some of the ones that we turned on, such as the crown dieback, and then some of our optional ones like stock type nursery. Here's our GPS coordinates, flat and long. Some of these are OSON-like comments, which are just optional. So this looks a bit overwhelming at first, but it's not that bad actually when you are in the field. Um, if you use the mobile data collection, which is another option. Species can be manually populated in here also. And as you start uh, just typing, this actually dynamically starts populating and narrowing down from that very, very large database within ECO. So you'll see that uh, you have options there do some um, data entry right here within this form. This is not a very user-friendly form, meaning that like, once you start doing data entry, um, you will start encountering some exclamation points, red exclamation points, and if you try to jump around fields, because it's also doing data integrity checks too. So if you put in a species, it's not going to let you exit unless you actually uh, provide a DBH because it needs that to estimate ecosystem services. So you'll you'll have to kind of work with this. You can also use the undo redo option to move around with this. So one option is just entering data directly if you manually have a list of trees, which you may. Uh, another option is if you uh, have uh, data set up uh, externally, you can actually use an import function if you have it in a spreadsheet and then import that into uh, eco also so that's a fairly straightforward process and there's a, a crosswalk for changing your data into eco's format um, so even though you might be using traditional conditions like good fair poor you could crosswalk that into eco for analysis so you can also use the uh, import function too uh, what I'm going to do instead here is actually go to the submit to mobile and see if uh, show you how that works. So let's click on the submit to mobile option. Uh, this is a way that Eco allows you to send the project configuration to a device such as a smartphone or um, say a tablet that uh, has connectivity to the internet. And so you have to be able to actually open up forms in an internet browser. It's not a traditional app that you're loading, say, an application on a phone or a device. What you're basically doing is entering data for your project on a web form. So if you're, you're using Google Chrome or Firefox or something like that, and then entering data. It's, uh, it's a little bit different than just a traditional application and how that operates. But in order to do that, we need to actually uh, submit it to mobile. So we'll go ahead and walk through that process here. And so what this does is um, it just really asks you for an email address. And what we're going to do here, and I'm using my own email here, and, and what I want to do is like send this link, this data collection link that it's going to create to myself. And if I'm working with multiple people in the field, then I will redistribute that link to them. So you don't have to send it to, say, four data collectors. Just send it to yourself. This is something that the project manager should be kind of managing uh, and keeping track of. And uh, as I go ahead and do this, what's going to happen is it's going to send an email to that email that uh, you just created. And before I go to that, I also want to just go back to that submit email 
and just show you one thing here that is helpful to see. So I went back to hit Submit Mobile, and you can see what it did is it created a mobile key. And so this is very important because this is how your project is identified on the server that allows somebody in the field to open up this configuration on a web browser, collect data, it goes back to a server, and then the project manager will be able to pull it in. So this mobile key is what ties all those pieces together and allows multiple people to collect data for the same project at the same time while other people are using the same system uh, across the world. So we will um, go in the next video and kind of open up the mobile data collection link on a web form and then walk through that process next.